Okay, folks, so uh, I recently picked up a Metabones EF2 Micro Four Thirds um, Speed Booster, the S adapter. Um, I bought the S because um, it was about £100 less than the newer Ultra and XL speed boosters on, on second hand on eBay. Uh, but I realised when looking at eBay auctions that there was a firmware update for it which would effectively turn the older version S adapter into the newer version Ultra adapter, more or less. But it's £100 less. And I wanted to have the information on screen um, relayed from the, the camera lens, the f-stop, etc. Uh, because I had an aperture deck adapter and that information did not make it onto the screen in the way my filmmaking works, I really needed information relayed from some lenses onto the screen that I was directly operating. So, I decided to record a screen, I don't know why I did this, but I just screen recorded the um, process and it was not that easy but in the end it all worked out. So what I've got here is a pre-recorded um, video which I've sped up at a couple of occasions to show you the process and the problems that I faced with a Metabones um, firmware update. So without further ado, here we go. Head to the metabones.com site and you'll find uh, the firmware page. I'm updating for an EF to Micro Four Thirds um, S at Speed Booster. Uh, zoom down to the bottom of that page and uh, tick the box and hit download. I've already done it. So the little exe file there um, is, uh, is, is sitting ready to go. Um, and that will update the firmware for all of these devices, um, which is all the speed boosters and uh, smart adapters. So check it's on that list before you do it. But it's the same firmware update for all of them. Hit the uh, update. You get the end user license agreement, read it or not, and click. Then this message comes up, uh, Speed Booster EF to Micro Four Thirds. This upgrade is about to make an irreversible change to your Speed Booster. You will have the option to downgrade to version 2.65, but not any further back, even if you have a copy of a previous version of the Metabones app. Hit update. This message pops up, uninstalling firmware from Speed Booster EF to Micro Four Thirds. Read carefully and follow the on-screen directions or your Speed Booster will be bricked. And that is the message which caused me some distress as I continued with this process, as you will soon see. Um, warning, we are not done yet. Unplug and reattach USB cable. Do not touch the jog lever on the Speed Booster while you do so. After reattaching, wait at least two seconds for the update button to reappear. Click update to complete the upgrade. If these steps are not followed, your speed booster will become inoperative and will have to be returned to the factory. So I did that, and the message came up here. I was doing the unplugging, etc. that was just advised there. And once I was happy with that, I hit update. So updating speed booster EF to micro four thirds. And here's where I thought it would be easy. And it goes, it goes, it goes, and it goes, it goes, it goes. Until it decided to hang right here. And actually, I let it hang for 10 minutes before I thought, I, 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 this is never going to update. It might have been longer than, you know, I think it was more like 20 minutes. It was a long time, and I just had to throw in the towel. So, um, it's not doing anything. This is me um, just trying to wake wake it up. Um, I was, you know, pressing buttons and trying to get to do things. I did not want to stop this process because of all these warnings about bricking and returning to factory that I'd had just before I went into this process. But eventually, and that has been speeded up greatly, I, I did kind of rethink it a little bit. So went hunting. I've got three screens in my computer, by the way. I'm only capturing one, but I went hunting for the original file and... Um, restarted the exe file to do the firmware update which is kind of what's going on off screen we're back to where we were before update but did i get a new problem here yep i have got the spinning wheel of nothingness going on so it was hanging again before i even got anywhere this is an i7 computer it's got six, 16 gig of ram it's my main editing computer it doesn't really have problems like this. It's running on uh, Windows 7, uh, which I know is a slightly older version, but I prefer the older versions of a few things, and I keep this computer specifically on this. 
Um, this is what I'm trying to do is, is hitting buttons, trying to get this to wake up eventually. Um, CTR Alt Delete, close the program. Again, didn't want to do it, but I'm, I'm really sweating at this point that the speed booster's been broken by the update, but I continued nonetheless. And uh, I'm clicking, trying to get things going. That's me just reopening the exe file on another screen. Get to here. Still got the spinning wheel there, but it seems to have calmed down. Jump back into update. And it's still not responding. Oh. So I'm now unplugging and replugging it back to the update screen and it starts to go. And it takes a bit of time. And lo and behold, done. Speed Booster has been updated. You may now unplug the USB cable, which I did. And that was finally how I got the firmware update done on my uh, Metabones Speed, Speed Booster S. It works perfectly. It was a good buy, but this process, I, I really speeded it up a couple of times in this, the whole process took something like 40 minutes to do the update because I had to keep stopping and starting. Um, but if you're thinking about doing the same thing, that's the that's some of the problems you might hit, or it might just work first time. Hope it's of some use to you. Have a good YouTube day. Bye.